All right, so I'm going to do a layers click through and explanation of how I did this Doctor Strange cosplay image that you see here. I didn't record as I was doing it, so you're not going to see all the little brush strokes, but I'm going to sort of describe the thought process that went into it, if you will. So I'm just going to turn off all my layers. We'll start with here. So this is our base image here. Um, and I did do a little bit of lighting correcting in uh, Camera Raw um, before I pulled this into Photoshop. So first thing is I clipped out, I duplicated and then clipped out my figure here. And the reason I did that was because I knew I wanted to put a portal in the background and if I'd put that in and then erased where my figure was, if I wanted to change the size of that portal or manipulate it in any way after the fact, I would have to kind of redo where my figure was every single time. So by duplicating and clipping out just the figure, I could manipulate the portal behind them at will and not have to worry about it. So if I hide this base layer, you can see it's just my, my figure there. I'm going to turn that off, though, so you can see the portal. Um, so then I was doing, I did a lot of like looking for fire portal images. Um, I found this really great one by uh, an artist called Hopis, who gave me permission to use it. Um, I think they created this in After Effects, which is super awesome. Um, and so I used this kind of as my, as my base. Um, and I really liked it, uh, but I realized it was sort of missing some like sparks along the ground that would be created by this fire. Um, I tried doing some stuff with some stock photos of like sparks and whatever to create that effect myself and just failed miserably. It was a hot mess. Um, so what I ended up doing was using a couple of stock photos that didn't have quite as complete a circle as I liked, but did have those sparks falling on the ground to kind of round it out. And I ended up using two, and I will, I will show you why. So here's this first one. As you can see, you've got the sparks hitting. Um, but you can see that I sort of have th this whole bit of it cut out. And the reason, if I disable this layer mask, you can see the way the sparks on this half of the image hit made it really, like the line really cut it off. So it was very obvious that it was the stock photo and wasn't actually in this environment. Um, and it was just too dense here. So even if like I kind of cut this out, you would have seen more going on down here. So instead, I clipped that out and then used another stock image on top of it to give this area. And this didn't have those excess sparks over here. So this is just, you can see it's just this half. And these two together look pretty good, but I liked the, the depth that having this uh, circle by Hopi's behind it uh, did. And now you will notice that I have them all set to screen mode. And the reason that is, is because these were originally photographed or created against a black background, as you can see here. And so, rather, so screen gets rid of the black, essentially. Um, it makes that almost invisible. So it's very nice so you don't have to go in and like clipping mask out all the individual sparks. You just set it to screen, and like there you go. You get like a little bit of deterioration of quality of the original image, unless it's like a really, really crisp black. Um, but you can sort of manipulate that a little bit with using curves and stuff. Anyway, so that's my, my fire circle. And you can see I can turn on this layer and my figures in front of the circle very happily. Um, so then I went and I needed the portal to have been going somewhere. I found a photo that I took in Metropolis, Illinois, when I was doing a Wonder Woman, Wonder Girl photo shoot. 
and I found one that had kind of enough of a background in it that I liked it, so I decided to use that. You can see here. Look. Come on. You can see once again, I've used the clipping mask rather than the eraser tool because I can then move this around the picture, the image if I wanted, and not uh, have lost anything. I would just have to redo the clipping mask rather than destroying the image. So this looks pretty good, um, but then, but the circle does sort of seem like it's just there. It's not a part of the environment. Um, you, there would be like reflection or uh, the, the light would be appearing on other stuff. So I inverted one of these images or duplicated one of these layers, inverted it, and then used the perspective tool in Photoshop to kind of make it fit on the ground a little bit better. Applied a Gaussian blur and got this effect down here. This I labeled it reflection, but it's sort of more light spill. I don't know what the for real term of it is. If I turn off that layer, you can sort of see what's got going on down there. So I was pretty happy with this, but I realized that Doctor Strange didn't really feel like they fit in the environment anymore. They seemed a little cut out, and that's because, and I realized that was because I didn't have this light source interacting with my figure in any way. So first thing, I suppose not the first thing, but uh, one simple thing to work on this is changing the direction of the shadow. You can see the original shadow, because the light is on this cosplayer's face, is going backwards and it needs to be coming the other way. So I just did a, a multiply layer. Here, if you can see, I fixed set it to... Um, multiply to sort of to darken it up a little bit, which is nice. It's a pretty, I used a low opacity uh, feathered brush um, with just some black and set that to multiply to get that effect. So that helps. Um, but then I realized when I was looking at like reference photos and you get uh, in with the figure in front of the portal, sort of the light around peeking in around the edges of the figure. And so I created this light spill layer. Let me disable the mask so you can see. So this is what it looks like. So essentially I just took a feathered brush, I color picked some oranges and yellows from my fire circle and stuck them in around the edges of my figure. Uh, focusing on some whites a little bit closer to here where the light would be brightest against the figure. Same down here. Uh, because often when you get just in other photographs I've seen, uh, a strong light source near the figure, it sort of blurs and bleeds um, and erases almost part of the figures. That's the reason I did the white there. Then my layer mask, essentially I then made the layer mask all black and then went back in and slowly exposed very lightly bits that I wanted to give. You can zoom in and you can see a little bit better. Um, like just on the edges of the hair, just softening it in the way and just adding those light effects to the edges. And here, you can see right here along the edges where I've got that little bit of white showing through. So this looked pretty good, um, but I still wasn't fully happy with it. And and I realized part of that was because uh, this figure would be backlit and there was a little too much light or brightness on the front of the figure for them being this backlit. So I created an adjustment layer, uh, a curves layer, and just tweaked that a little bit to make it a bit darker. I used the clipping mask from this layer. I just duplicated this layer, dragged the mask up here and then deleted it so it would only impact this figure and not every single layer below this. Uh, I don't know if there's a better way to make a adjustment layer only impact a given layer. If anyone has tips on that, I would love to hear them. Um, but this worked, this worked all right for, for my purposes. And this was pretty good 
also, but I realized the color balance was a little bit off. This is a very warm light source. So I just tweaked the colors a little bit so there was a slightly warmer cast to this figure so it felt more like, once again, this light source was actually impacting uh, and affecting the way Doctor Strange looked. So those are all the, the layers that went into making this image. Just once again for comparison, that's what it looked like originally. And that's what it looks like with the with everything in place. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you are wanting to go do your own Photoshop adventures.